Good old Iron Keep. Best area in the fucking game. Tell you what. <laughs> There's another clip in there that was really golden. My, I think my favorite Soul Salt clip is from Soul Salt? Is it one or two? And it was Dark. Uh, or Derive. Whatever. Uh, whenever he was playing and... Or was it? I forget who it was. Whoever it was. And it's the fucking weapon art against the wall clip. Ah, it's so good. Iron Keep isn't that bad. But Iron Keep is really, really bad. And, um... I'm trying to think. Because I've played more Scholar than I have actual Dark Souls 2. It was there. Yeah, the fucking... Why are you weapon arting against the wall? Hello? It's golden. Yeah, Scholar's Iron Keep is dog shit. I hate it. And I'm, I'm currently learning the Dark Souls 2 any percent on Scholar. I was going to do the normal Dark Souls 2, but I can't be bothered to buy the game. Like. Because I wanted, like, a side speed game apart from Dark Souls 3. Because Dark Souls 3, like, makes me want to pull my hair out sometimes. You're going to do a follow-up, aren't you? Poggers, dude. Should I have attacked earlier there, you think? I wonder if it would have been worth attacking earlier there. Oh, I'm not doing any percent current patch. I should probably specify. I'm doing um any percent old souls. I wanted to do old souls just because of a uh... one. I didn't want. I want to. I think if I had to do rotten fucking five times a day, like per run. I'd go insane. And if I had to reset after Rotten a bunch, then like fighting Rotten 25 times a day, I'd probably I'd probably pull my hair out. I am on. be careful. I fucking just drifted right there. And I I mean, maybe down the road I'll want to run all bosses for Dark Souls 2 or at least learn it for like just to know it, I guess. I mean, I already know all the other Soulsborne, like, all boss runs somewhat. So, I may as well learn DS2 at some point. So, at least at least Old Souls, I'm getting experience with some of the other fights. That was my mindset, anyways. And also, how are you doing, Rin? Yin? I'm not even going to try to pronounce your full name, because I just know I'm going to butcher it. But, uh, yeah. I need to buy a new SSD. My SSD is so full, and I think it's also dying. It's pretty old. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Is it Yen Ratten? Is that how it's pronounced? Try to not butcher names as much as I can help. I love this game. What are you doing? Jesus, this pace. I don't even want to know what this quit out's going to be. You're in a weeb phase. Alright, can we ban the mod? You knew that the fucking Yor was going to bother me, didn't you? Call me as you wish. Okay, disciple. <laughs> Monk ass. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say something else, and I was like, probably shouldn't say that. 
<laughs> I don't know you well enough to call you that. <laughs> <laughs> Get banned off Twitch. <laughs> Dark Souls streamer calls us. <laughs> no! I, was... I called Jose father, okay? I didn't want to call Yen father. Damn, see, I, I put myself into a spot. No, Yen, no. Come back. <laughs> Fuck, D Planet. <laughs> toxic fucking. Bloodborne's. God, the Bloodborne runners are as toxic as Bloodborne is a game. Jeez, dude. <laughs> you guys are so toxic. <laughs> this is why I stopped running Bloodborne. <laughs> Damn. Now I'm just attacking everyone. I'm just on a tear right now. <laughs> Dark Souls 3 runner attacks everyone. <laughs> Let's all leave. Boycott. You're gonna hit me. <laughs> He's just being offensive. God damn it. There's that one guy probably in chat who's lurking. And he just kind of came here and he's not really paying attention. And everyone's like, wow, he's so toxic. And he's like, oh, fuck, I need to leave. Oh, Yen, are you on my side? I can't tell. <laughs> Monka S, indeed. <laughs> Cheese, dude. <laughs> Whose emote is that to, uh, to say? I mean, it's a Tarkov streamer, probably, right? Or Tarkov. It's a holiday one? Why don't I have it? <laughs> Come on. I want it. Give me your account. Dude, I want, like... I want that fucking emote. And instead, I'm stuck with, like, 30 hyperscape emotes. I got a lot of the pride emotes, and the pride emotes are actually really well done. They're probably some of my like the, my favorite emotes. I literally have none of none of those, but I can. I, I have all the hyperscape ones. The hyperscape emotes are pretty bad. Oh. I forgot how to play the game. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> this is like the definition of like, oh no. Oh my God, what am I looking at right now? This is disgusting. My eyes burn. You actually might have the same amount of hyper em uh, hyperscape emotes as I do. I think I have like 13. Or no, I have more than 13. I don't know how many I have. How do you get those emotes? I've seen them everywhere and I want them. The fucking like night ones? Or does everyone have them? I don't know. There's so many emotes that I see like for the first time and I'm like, surely that's a fucking like subscriber one. Like that's sure that's a channel emote, right? It's like a global one. I need to spend an entire day just, like, instead of speedrunning, just... Fucking looking through emotes. Nice. God, poggers. Mississippi to Mississippi. 
So you're telling me I need to enable two-factor if I haven't already? I don't know if I have him, actually. I do have two-factor. So, I know that because every time I reset my OBS settings, it's like making me fucking open up my two-factor authentication app. The fucking Uwu Knight one is so good. It's adorable. Oh my god, I forgot how to menu. Tell you what, the, the best emote on Twitch is my emote. God damn it, dude. Why didn't you fall? Stop it. Every time you log in? Feels bad, man. Yeah, that's... I know I have it enabled. I just don't know... Um. I guarantee you... Okay, real quick. What's going to happen here is I'm not going to grab the ember... And then I'm going to run by the fucking Frost Knight. And I'm going to get whacked to the point where I wish I would have grabbed the Ember. Oh god, Jake. That works too well. <laughs> the Balloon Boy's giving out balloons. Now you need an Ella emote. Because Ella's emotes lack balloons. And I feel like with his little top spinner hat, he needs balloons. So now, Jake, you need to go subscribe to Ella... There you go. God, the hyperscape emotes are so bad, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> my chat has just turned into emotes, and I kind of like it. <laughs> it makes reading it a lot easier. <laughs> hey, whose emotes are those? They look familiar. Oh god, whose are those? That's way too much stamina, what'd I do? Wait, what the fuck did I just do? Chain brain? Hmm, no idea those. Oh god, it linked the fucking emote for an old emote of mine. Excuse me? Well, that was the world's slowest FKS. <laughs> Some people have such good emotes on Twitch. And then there's me. I love discs emotes. What am I doing, dude? I, I forgot how to do stamina. Disc ga is one of my favorite. Or disca. Papega, so it's probably disca, huh? But he's added a lot of new ones that I haven't really taken the time to look at. God, I need to get rid of that lick emote. <laughs> Just because you're the only one who uses it, and the way you use it scares me. Oh no. We're dead. Is that enough stamina? Am I going to have to roll? Poggers, dude. Alright, well. Assuming I don't make any dumb mistakes, hopefully we can actually get a run into DLC. That or we'll just go ahead and die in catacombs right now. Because this dude's about to insta poke.
I'm really struggling to get runs green right here right now. Then again, my PB actually isn't that bad early game. Like, I think my PB has an 813 uh, Great Wood with Skull Pickup, so that's actually pretty solid. So an 817 with Skull Pickup definitely isn't bad. It's annoying to run against, though. I have to hold my breath there for some reason. <laughs> Otherwise, I fuck up the menu. <laughs> Wait, can you not two hand your fist in this game? Am I just now noticing this? I want a refund! That arrow was really slow. I had no idea you couldn't two-hand your fist. Dark Souls 2 had it. Dark Souls 2 is better, apparently. No, the best Dark Souls 2 feature, in like terms of speedrunning, in my opinion, is the fucking holding start to skip cutscenes. Like... Yeah, I think you can only do it in DS2. Oh, uh, can you do it in Bloodborne? No. You, I mean, you would know better than I wouldn't. I imagine you would have known that. But the best feature DS2 has is the fucking holding start to skip cutscenes. That is that is such a nice feature. <laughs> no, you can't? Okay. You kind of can? I'm going to say, I remember like animations that looked like you could, but I might just be mis- like not remembering correctly. What do you mean by kind of? I stop getting this RNG, dude. That's probably what I'm thinking of then. Because I knew there was something that kind of looked like you two-handed your weapon. Because I remember it was like a really weird looking animation. God, we're going to have... I wonder... How the community is going to be divided between 
Dark Soul or Elden Ring and Demon Souls. Like, I wonder if people are actually gonna want to run Demon Souls if El when Elden Ring comes out. And it also depends how close they are, like released together, I guess. Yeah, they won't be released at the same time, but I imagine they'd be released, like, relatively same time frame. Because I imagine Demon's Souls is going to be, a, like, a flagship title. It's going to be on launch. And, um, depending when that... Actually, I don't lose that much time. We only lost time there because of, uh, my split timings differently. So, we didn't actually lose seven seconds on a level up. But anyways, uh, I imagine Demon's Souls is going to be like a launch title, to be honest. And Elden Ring, I imagine, is going to come out around like March, April-ish. That's my guess. Spring, we'll call it. So. Who knows, though? I mean, Elden Ring might not even come out until like next November, for all we can fucking know at this point. I mean, I have no interest in running Demon Souls just because, like, if I really wanted to run Demon Souls, I would go and run Demon Souls right now. But I can understand the appeal, especially for those who haven't played Demon Souls. And if the PS5 wasn't so fucking expensive, I mean, I imagine it's going to be expensive. I'd probably actually buy it, but other than Demon's Souls, there's no games I really care to like play on it right now. I might try remastered runs, who knows? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be kind of fun because it'll be pretty active. Ray tracing on a console game, though. I mean, it'll be fun because it'll be active, and it's pretty much probably going to be the first time Demon Souls has ever had like an active like community speedrunning it. At least, like in comparison to the other games, you know. So who knows? It might be kind of fun, but I'm probably not going to buy a PlayStation Five unless they're like 500 USD. If they're 500 USD, I'll probably buy one. But in my head, they're going to be more than that. And I'm so invested in Dark Souls 3 at this point in time. We're going to quit out. I'm not taking chances. Well, we're not 20 seconds behind after Sage, so that's pretty good. I'll tell you what, though, the emulator version of Demon's Souls is a lot of fun. Like, upscaling the res actually makes quite a bit of a difference on it. And it's just, I mean, playing it on PC, of course, is pretty nice. And there's a 60 FPS mod and, like, randomizers and stuff, if that's your shtick. I'm tired of these console exclusive games though. It really it's really annoying. I mean I understand why it's a thing to some extent. But it's annoying. It's annoying as a PC gamer that 
how many console exclusives they are. And I feel like a lot of the console exclusives are like super good. Like Bloodborne, for example. Demon Souls is, I mean, I, it's going to be Demon Souls, so it's going to be good. It's not like it's going to be a bad game. We already know what we're getting. Are you going to chase me or not? Well, hopefully we have like a really good deacons and can actually go green. God, I only want to think about how big this file size is going to be. I don't think I've ever done a local recording that's two hours long at 1080p, 10,000 bit rate. Thankfully it's not on my SSD and it's on my like external, or my, uh, sorry, my HDD. Is the remake actually confirmed to have ray tracing though? I know it looks like it, but is it confirmed to? Or is it just really good like... Oh. That was weird. It is confirmed? Okay, cool. Well, I know it has like a graphics mode, I think. Or something. And then like a fractured mode or something. Whatever that fucking means. Oh my god, they're all over here too. That's good. Oh my god, it's not good. Are you fucking with me? This fucking game, dude. <laughs> this fucking Uh, D Planet, if you're still there, um, you mentioned before that you're going to be switching over to all bosses probably at some point. Are you still intending to do that? Because I think I asked if you were planning on doing um, Doll Skip, and you said you'd probably just jump over to all bosses before that. If you're even still there. Maybe I'm just talking to the Void. For doll skip? Wait, what's doll skip? I mean, what, what do you mean, like, used on doll skip? I used to Mississippi for, um, great wood skip. And it's the strap, by the way. Oh, when you do the drop on Aerithel? Yeah, okay. The spook went out. 
poggers, dude. Mississippi strat is the best strat. People doubt it. Somebody told me to use steamboat instead of Mississippi. I said no. I can't. I can't forget my Mississippi bros. That was a really weird way of doing that. <sighs> Poggers, dude. Mississippi gang. <laughs> Well, a run is a run. Was there anything good yesterday at Gamescom? A uh, little Nightmares 2 gameplay. That was pretty much it. This Black Knight's still following me, dude. Quit out. But obviously, some people might think other things are getting are good. Oh my god, please. It's like the catacombs rat sometimes follow me until the wall near door. I hate that. I've had it happen like once or twice. The worst enemy that follows you sometimes is the, um, oh fuck, who is it? There's like, I had an example, but I keep forgetting it. TP dogs. I mean, they suck, but they're not. They're not really like. There's only really a few spots that TP dogs are really like that big of an issue. They're annoying, but they don't really ever cause like problems. Unless you're doing no skulls. But it's very rare you actually die to dogs if you have skulls. Because the only skull, like the only dogs you can't really quit out on, are the ones um. In Neurothil. Like, there's only kind of dogs you can't, like, quit out spam on.
And the undead settlement dogs rarely kill you with a skull. Or they rather, rarely even bother you, I should say. I never actually died to them with a skull. So not die to Aldrich again? And we'll be golden, pony boy. I, I don't I, I can't remember who it is. I'm trying to think and I can't remember. Um Oh no, it's the um the thrall dude in the Grand Archives. Yeah, the the thrall in Grand Archives. I'll explain it in a second. Hold on. Oh my god, dude. This is so annoying. So slow. I didn't know if I could kill him or not, so I went ahead and made him not TP. Uh, so whenever you get to the Grand Archives, um, like before the princes, there's that little thrall dude with a big like greatsword. Well, not the one with the greatsword. The great one sword one isn't that big of a deal. I'm trying to focus. My bad. Uh, it's the one right before like the M three NPCs. He drops from the rafters. Fucking hate him. I'm not really describing it well. If the run gets there, I'll show you. I don't know what he does, but he's annoying when he just follows you. He'll, like, follow you up to the staircase and stuff, and sometimes he'll throw a throwing knife at you. Or not, he won't throw a throwing knife fully. But, um, whoever throws throwing knives is also annoying there. I think the Thralls can throw throwing knives, though. I need to focus here because I have a huge time save here. I'm Yorm. I can't actually save 20 seconds. That 20 second gold is with uh, ladder skip, and I'm not doing ladder skip. So we only save like 14 seconds. I think we can actually save like 16. Yeah, focus. Yeah, boys. 
focus that. Focus time, focus time, focus, focus, focus. Oh, that's way too much stamina. Fuck! Trying to be careful here. God damn it, dude. I just choked so hard. I choked it so hard. I literally was doing just fine, and then I just choked. Crystal, thank you for the good luck, man. I appreciate it. God damn it. Dude. I've been struggling with Dancer lately. I probably need to practice her. Terrible dancer. It's not terribly hard, honestly. I just... I choked. Like I said, I haven't really been practicing this game that much lately because I took like a week off. And the things I have been practicing haven't been like the things I probably should be practicing. And it's apparent I need to put in some dancer practice. I've been struggling with dancer my last two, like, runs that made it to her. Actually, it's been more than that. Past, like, three or four runs that made it to her. Oh yeah, first try Vilhelm isn't too bad though. No! 
Ooh, that's bad though. <laughs> oh, that was scary. If I can hit R2 on accident. <laughs> Come on. Toxic fuck. gonna strafe that. I've been struggling to strafe that one lately. We're gonna repost them. Probably shouldn't have reposted them actually. Probably should not have gone for the repost. Eh, maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know if it was the best choice or not. He charged across the room and he was right by the door, so I wanted to make sure. <sighs> I have a big time save on Gundyr, too. As long as he's not a memer. Toxic indeed, though. Thankfully, I wasn't toxic, though. Thankfully, I know I realized it soon enough to go to the left. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been rip run. I think I've tried to fight him toxic once, and it was terrible. I do not recommend. Thank you. And I didn't waste too much time, thankfully. I mean, you waste like six seconds just by being Mimi. God, yeah, Toxic in this game is so fucking bad. It's like Poison and Dark Souls 2, or I guess Toxic and Dark Souls 1. Yeah, we're green, though. Could definitely be a lot more green, but... But it's really not that big of a deal. I'm just happy to be ahead. <laughs> and it's only by three seconds. And a lot of our, like, major time save is a little bit later. I mean, we have a lot of major time save right here. Don't get me wrong. Like, Osiris is pretty big. Uh, Yorm is pretty big. My, my biggest time saves are Cinder, Yorm, Osiris... And then elevator clip are all 20 second time saves each.
But I mean, obviously we have other time saves sprinkled in. I think nameless I can save like 15 seconds with like a perfect fight. No, come on. I've been really struggling with Dragon Slayer lately, too. Come on. a bit of time. Man, I really have to use the restroom. Still green? Oh, I have to use the restroom so bad. So bad. Okay. I'll show you the enemy I'm talking about, uh, Yen. I'll show you my least favorite enemy in the run, and I'll show you the most, like, the one that follows me, that piss, like, he pisses me off because of how much he follows you. My least favorite enemy in the run. I think I finally figured him out, so he doesn't really bother me anymore. Like, he's really not that annoying anymore. But for the longest time, and still, he's my least favorite enemy in the run, is this dude, the Scargoyle. He's my, he's my most annoying. And then the one that follows me, that pisses me off, because I always hear him behind me, is this Thrall that's about to drop down right behind me right here. That dude. I've had him follow me all the way up to the princes. He can follow you pretty far. I've had him at least follow me up to here. Maybe not like all the way to the princes, that might be exaggerating a little bit. But he can follow you pretty far, yeah. I didn't have to fucking roll that, what am I doing? He normally doesn't follow me like super far, but he doesn't really follow me for a little bit. It kind of pisses me off. on
Dude, come on! You fucking memes, dude. God, my gold there is so bad. I actually don't hate Twin Princes that much. Like, they really don't bother me. It's just when, like, they start, like, not doing their little AI loop stuff. And they start, like, doing some weird shit like that. I love that little swag jump you can do. That's the most pointless thing I think I've ever practiced in this run. Saves like very minuscule time. But it's swaggy as fuck and it saves time, so. I mean, the charge attack isn't too bad in phase one because it's easily punished. Or phase two, sorry. Well, I guess either phase. It does waste time, though. But. I just hate when he, like, doesn't, he, like, doesn't turn and attack, and he just, like, turns, I don't know, when you can't, like, stand behind him anymore because of the way he's turning. It's like a big old gulp of pop, even though I'm fucking already having to use restroom really bad. All right, so here's a really big time save I have. It's like 20 some seconds. This is like one of the first major mistakes in the run. Like my PB. So. If all goes well. Save some time. I didn't use stream for a week. I just needed a break from this game. Like, this game was getting on my nerves. I mean, I've been running the game for, like, four months now. And, you know, if you're pu putting, like, a bunch of time into something, it can just get really annoying. Oh. My gold is without me splitting where I split right there. So, it's pretty good. You are playing Fall Guys? Fuck no. I've actually never played Fall Guys. I just didn't really play many games. I played Mortal Shell, and I just kind of didn't really play. I just I just needed some time off from the game, you know? This game can be incredibly frustrating to speedrun. And so... I haven't played Fall Guys yet, and I never will. What's the most frustrating thing? It's just like... Oh no. the, I think the most frustrating thing in the run is like... Just losing runs to really dumb things. Like, for instance, missing the Wyvern plunge. Like, if I miss that, like, attack right there and lose, like, 20 seconds, like I did in my PB, it's really, it's really frustrating. 
Um, but like, I don't know, like, you know, you make it to Wilhelm skip and then you just one slight input that's wrong and the runs over. It can't be recovered. Like that's frustrating. It's just like everything has to be so perfect in a run that's really difficult. It's basically the hard part is staying perfect for, you know, an hour and a, like an hour and twenty minutes, or an hour and fifteen minutes, or whatever you want to call it. It's an hour and a half, like RTA, roughly. So staying perfect for an hour and a half is really rough. And I know you can say that about any speed game, but like in Dark Souls Three, like. A lot of it's really hard. I mean, it is not an easy run. Yeah, that too, where the hardest part of the run is that it's it's at the end of the run. <laughs> you know, you, you like you're, this is where the fatigue, like right now I have to use the restroom. I'm I'm a little bit tired. The the pressure's is like starting to build up. This is where the fatigue and everything starts to set in. And this is also where the run starts to get hard. Everything before this is pretty easy. I mean all things considered. But now we have Wilhelm skip coming up, where, like I said, one wrong button input, you reset. We have Frida coming up, where, I mean, Frida can fuck you over. We have Angel skip, you know, you just slightly mistime your jump, or your jump's angled slightly wrong, you lose fucking 15, 20 seconds. And then we have Partake followed up by another skip, and then just Madeir, that if you fuck up the Madeir strat, you lose, you know, fucking 20, 30 seconds. It's just so much, like, perfection at the end of the run that, you know... You run this every day, you're going to go kind of crazy. I need to calm down. I'm getting a little nervous. I don't have my... Since I took that break, my, my Wilhelm skip nerves are back. I used to, like, not get nervous on the skip anymore. Like, I kind of broke that where, like, the skip didn't really make me anxious. But now, uh, now it's back. I feel that little adrenaline pumping. But you know, this might be kind of good. Also, yeah, I'm not going to be talking for a little bit. Sorry if I don't talk much at the end of this run. this angle.
I really see. I really don't think Wilhelm skips that bad if you can keep your nerves like nerves in check because it's honestly one of the more consistent skips. Like that's what I like about Fer like FKS in this is it's very consistent. Like with that pathing, the enemies aren't really an issue. Like they don't. You shouldn't really get have to dodge or anything. It's just entirely up to you not messing up inputs, which I mean is hard. Like don't get me wrong, it's not an easy skip. But it's, it's consistent, at least, which is nice. It's not like you have to worry about a bunch of bullshit happening, which it can, but... Yeah. Two seconds. It's because of the quit out, too. I think if I wouldn't have had a quit out, that might have golded. Or not golded, but we've been pretty close to a gold. I lost a run to Frida the other day, so I'm going to try to focus up for this, too. Thank you. Come on. It's <sighs> really slow phase one. Can't see what's happening. That was such a bad free to one two. We'll skip. Yeah, we'll skip's actually the most consistent skip in any FromSoft game. I still refuse to dupe here. I'm going to refuse to dupe here until I have a one sixteen. Oh god, how do I fight Frida again? Phase three wasn't too bad, but phase one and two are pretty slow. I'm actually curious, what skip is the most consistent and what skip's the least consistent in any FromSoft game? Like on average, of course. Because consistency is a hard thing to judge. Now, I'll be honest, I have not practiced Demon, sk Demon Princes, Angel Skip, uh, Madeir, or like a few things here at the end a lot recently, so I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really practiced Endgame much recently. Excuse me.
Good luck, thank you. one so far. That was a really bad demon fate prince so far. I really didn't even have to take the repost, but... Yeah, we lost a lot of time there. That was a really bad Demon Princess, especially Phase 1. We're going to lose some time here, too, because I'm about to bone back. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bone back. I have an idea. I'm going to rest at the bonfire anyways up ahead, so why would I bone back? Poggers, dude. Saving that time. Nah, phase two wasn't good. I mismanaged my stamina a little bit. I shouldn't have had to take the repost on him. And the repost lost me, you know, a good four, five seconds. I shouldn't have had to take the repost on him. I should have been able to kill him sooner too. But I had to take the repost because um, I started sprinting. So I, didn't, I had low stamina when I actually staggered him the first time. So I had to take the repost. Normally, I would be able to get a lot more hits in, get behind him, get like two or three hits, refill stamina, and finish him off as he starts to rebuff. <sighs> but I staggered him at a different time. Than I, I didn't think I was actually going to stagger him with that hit, which is why I was running. I thought he was going to stagger much later. But, oh well. He's dead. I only lost a few seconds, too. I could have saved four, so I guess I lost eight, but... Actually, I lost 5.6. Damn. Trash. I think Gale is a pretty big time save, too.
That might be too low. Sorry, I'm like super focused right now. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not talking at all, guys. God damn it, dude. Please don't put me in infinite slide. I'm gonna lose a lot of time here. I'm not gonna be able to save 20 seconds. Fuck! Spawn me back up top and I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna not gonna save much time. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, but I'm gonna lose time a little bit of time. I'm not gonna lose time, I don't think, against my PB, but I think I'm gonna lose time against like my gold I fucking fell off like three times I was really sloppy looks like Blighttown skip <laughs> just like falling off every five seconds yeah we can still get a 116 though Alright, gotta focus. Also, welcome back, Swinkly. Thank you, Crystal. Alright. I just wrote a 15-page document about Half-Light, so if I fuck up Half-Light, this is going to be embarrassing. I'm surprised that I actually golded. In a hundred years, you'll kill Madeir like me? He, he takes a lot of practice. Madeir, Madeir is definitely, like, a rough boss to get down. And even some... I mean, like, Matt, for example. He still struggles with Madeir occasionally. Oh, 
Shh, it's quiet time. Come on. Come on, you fucking troll. Dude, I fucking hate this boss. You're a fucking bitch and no one likes you. All because he did the fucking... I mean, I fucked up. Like, I made a mistake, but... I hate when he does the fucking insta stab attack. It's so annoying. That's like the fucking worst RNG he can give you. Of course, my man fucking gives it to me. Anything else I would have been fine with. But that one's so trolly because the fucking thing always gets the heal off. Unless there's a way to do it without me knowing. Like, I don't know about. Well, the insta poke, it's like you have to back up and he's... I don't know, dude. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna play the save, dude. I know I shouldn't have tried to strafe that. This is so bad. I need to. I need to focus. Yeah, this is bad. I need. I need to really focus.
Nice, four hits. Yay, let's just waste time. I fucking hate Cassandra. Well, shit. <laughs> We're gonna lose time on this split, probably. <laughs> what am I doing? I forgot how to fucking fight this dude. PB, dude. Fuck, dude. I just fucking fell apart at the end.
Thanks, Crystal. Fuck, dude. That's like the worst feeling PB I've ever gotten in my life. That was such a sh dog shit PB, dude. <laughs> I am so upset about this PB. Like, I had an okay start. Yeah, it's PB. It's 117, too. My Yorm was terrible. My Dancer was terrible. My Twin Princes was terrible. My Gale was terrible. My Half Light was terrible. My fucking Grave Tender was terrible. My Cinder wasn't great, but it was better than my. You know, it was terrible. The only saving grace is that my last PB had a terrible ODK split and then it had a terrible, terrible nameless.